Mom, I have a question. At Mary's, when we were talking to Jacob, why did you call him Babe? Are you guys, like, dating or something? Skylar, of course not. In my slang, Babe is used as a friend. Not like that, Skylar. I love a misunderstanding. Oh, okay. So you don't like him? Skylar, I would never. That's too weird. But I am joining Evelyn in a game of bingo tonight, so I will be out. Is that alright? Oh, uh, okay. Sounds good to me. I have to go get ready for me and Daniel's date this afternoon. See you around, Mom. Skylar, O-M-G, you look so pretty. What's the special event? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I, I just wanted to look good today. Ugh, I wish I could be as pretty as you. People always tell me I'm this traditional ugly girl who nobody likes. Did you know I've never, ever even had one boyfriend? Yeah, it sucks. Oh, Nat, I'm so sorry to hear that. You are so pretty, and you're also so sweet. You really do deserve a boyfriend. I wish. Do you think it's because of my look? I mean, possibly? I don't want to sound offensive or anything. Uh, maybe we could do a makeover. Sounds awesome. Thank you so much for helping me. It means the world. Nat, you are too sweet. I'll see you at nine tonight. It's cool. Meet you in my room. Tyler, what's up? What's with the smile? Oh, nothing. It's just my birthday is in three days. OMG, three days? Who's hosting the party? P party? Uh, oh, no, no, no. It's just gonna be me and my mom. Ugh, well, that's no fun. Every birthday has a big party. One moment, please. Peter! Yes? Skylar's birthday is in three days, and she needs a big party. Do you think we could possibly ask Mr. Christo to possibly use the banquet hall? Trust, Murray can do that easily. <laughs> well, that's settled. See you in three days. Uh, uh, okay. Good evening, ladies and gents. Julie, excuse me, hi. What is this for, exactly? Ah, just my new vlog. It's slang. Video and blog mixed together. Vlog.
Yeah, I think I got the memo. Sorry, and why exactly? Ah, uh, I don't really know. I was just bored, so I looked up things to do while you're bored, and vlog came out. Yeah, you have fun with that. Oh, and another cool thing is, I'm also writing blogs too. I'll be popping in once in a while to see how everyone is doing on the ship. But now as the head of the social media department of the cruise, I have to answer all the reviews. That is not what I was going for. But whatevs, I'll see you guys later. See you, Julie. Wow, that girl is just terrifying. <laughs> Indeed. Look. Mary wants to meet with me about her upcoming duo performance, which means I have to go. See you around. Bye, Charles. Charles. Peter. Another performance? Seems like it. Ugh. I mean, you can't just do karaoke nights all of the time. That's just boring. Right. OMG, I totally forgot. Me and Daniel's date starts in five minutes. Bye, Griffin. Oh, wow. Bye, girl. Good luck. Oh, Daniel, I am so sorry. Uh, I totally brain farted. How are you? Well, thanks. And you? I'm good. Uh, was I late? I'm so sorry. I was talking to Griffin and I just got carried away. I feel so embarrassed. No, trust me. It's okay. Oh, well, thanks. So, I have a question. What did you do in Seattle? I literally know nothing about you. Well, my parents loved me when I was a baby. So not much. I lived with my uncle for the rest of the time being. I needed to live on my own, so I fled to LA. He didn't always treat me in the right way. That's why I'm so quiet. I feel it's not my place to be loud. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry, Daniel. It, it, it's okay. You are a person with a place to be as loud as possible and never be scared. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's so weird because I am so shy, and you're the complete opposite. How do we match? I know, right? It's so strange because when I first came on this cruise, you were the complete opposite of what I was looking for in a guy. But I can't stop thinking about you. May I be honest? I kind of feel the same way. You're always in the back of my mind. I know it sounds cringy, but at least it's true. Aw, oh, you're so sweet. Skylar, I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is wrong. Mr. Crystal says I am not allowed to like or date or flirt with any passengers. I'm breaking rules here. I'm sorry, I. Daniel, sometimes you have to break the rules, but if you're uncomfortable, that's totally fine. I accept your decision. Look, Skylar, I'll think about it. I'm sorry, I just have to go. I don't want to make this more awkward than it already is. Also, what if someone sees us? No, Daniel, it it's fine. Oh. It is always so awkward. At least you did your best, Skylar. Skylar? What's wrong? Nothing, just a bad day. Do you want to talk about it? What happened? I met this guy a couple days ago. Mother, I'm in love. 
I tried all I could do to make him like me. I thought he did, but I don't even know anymore. Like, I asked him where he was from, and he never asked me any questions about me. Ugh, like, I'm so over this. Oh, honey. I think maybe you find a new boy. But he's just perfect. Mom, I have a question. How come we never hear anything about Dad anymore? He does everything for us. But what about seeing him? I haven't seen him in almost a year. What's going on? Skyler, your father is an extremely busy man, and you know that. I, I know, but I have, like, no personal connection to him. He's my dad. Does he hate me or something? No, no, no. He just has a lot on his plate right now. Just like you do. We all do. Don't worry about it, honey. He'll be back soon. I promise. Well, I'll talk to you later. I still have that progress document on the way. Goodbye now. Oh, Mr. Christo, bad news. The Wi-Fi has shut down again. I contacted Captain Lee and he said the satellite is broken again and won't be back up for the rest of the trip. What will we do for the guests? Well, with Christmas approaching, we should do a Christmas performance. We could have the whole team sing their favorite Christmas songs and turn it into a Christmas jam-packed karaoke night. Just a night full of fun and tradition. Great idea. I'll talk to Mary in the diner about it. We can probably dream something up. Well, thank you, Mr. Christo. I'll update you on the news. Sounds cool. Thanks for planning this. Excited to see what's in store. Me too. Skylar. I just want to say, I am really sorry for leaving on our day today. I agree with you. Sometimes you just have to break the rules. I love you. Aw, I love you too. But no one can find out about this, okay? <laughs> Deal. Okay, I gotta go. Mr. Crystal needs help on picking new suits. I'll see you around. What do you think? Looking very dapper, sir. Well, thank you. So excited to see Marie tonight. She will look gorgeous, as always. Mr. Christo, I don't want to be rude, but whatever happened to the rule of no staff members dating passengers? Ah, uh, tomato, tomato, who cares? If you fall in love with someone, go get your girl. So, if I fell in love with the passenger, that's okay? Oh, no. Not the other staff. That's just weird. I'm an exception, since I run this company, of course. Well, doesn't that make you sort of a hypocrite? Oh, piss off. Just let me be. I'm done seeing you for the night. Goodbye, Daniel. Ah, oh, looking very dapper tonight, Miss Dow. No, stop it. Says you. <laughs> How is yourself tonight? Very well, thank you. Oh, and by the way, Jacob, we have to keep this under wraps. Skylar cannot know about this. So, I guess I shouldn't call you babe in public then? I suppose not. Sorry. Totally fine. My oh my. I have been looking for a woman as beautiful as you for so long. Well, 
I thank you. You are too kind. I try my best. So I have a question. Who's Skylar's father? Ah, Francis Dominic. We divorced many months ago. Skylar doesn't know that yet, so please, do not tell her that as well. Oh, I won't. But why did you split? Well, he is a very busy man, you see. Not only is he the owner of a casino, he is also involved with the Mafia. Which is a whole other story, of course. I do not want to get him involved, so I left him. Filthy man! Mafia? Well, isn't that deep? It is. Multiple crimes committed. That makes me sick. Well, my love, I'm very sorry to hear that. It's okay. At least I have you. Cheers to that. Well, Mr. Christo, I am feeling kind of cold. Shall we make our way to the hot tub? Don't mind if we do. Well, I'm off to bed. Exhausted. Good night, my love. Hope to see you tomorrow. Mwah. OMG, Nat, your room is so pretty. I didn't know the boat gave such pretty rooms to the staff. Well, as head of the bar, they gave me a bigger room than everyone else's. I got to decorate it in all. Cute. What style are you looking for? Something like you? I love your style. Aw, thanks. Uh, well, I have this outfit. OMG. That is so cute. I love it. Yes, go put it on. I want to see how you look in it. Okay. That is adorable. OMG, come, I'll, I'll do your makeup. Thank you for doing this, Skylar. You really are truly kind. My pleasure. Uh, Nat, if you don't mind me asking, why did you tell me Daniel doesn't date? He told me he does. We are also, like, kind of dating right now. You must be mistaken, then. I have known Daniel for a while. Must have been a misunderstanding. Natalie, y you said you don't really know Daniel at the party. Skylar, let's change the topic. Is my makeup almost done? Yeah, it's done now. O-M-G. I love stunning. Thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep. See you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Sweet dreams. So sorry. She's catching on. I tried. You asked the wrong person. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll continue trying to get Daniel out of our hands. He's glitching. Fix 
Vixen, we can't go on with this or we'll get exposed. We need a new starting point by tomorrow or we are cooked.